the European Social Class for Particle Research, CERN, is revealing nuances of another atom. The smasher today, on different occasions, is more significant and two times as basic. It has seen three new particles that could be helpful to us in sorting out how our universe was envisioned and what its future seems to be. Scientists at CERN have, of late, uncovered divulgences that turn how we interpret the universe on its head. Under the outside layer of their huge tests lies a huge spread of particles and controls so peculiar they could be straight far away from likely fragments to alternate points of view, particles that challenge the actual reason of the real world. What stupefying, advantaged, privileged insights are secret inside these tests? Might we at some point skip into the universe of CERN and loosen up the pieces of data that could rethink our universe? The entry to new points of view, a wormhole, could speculatively appear out of the blue above, and the explanation would be the exceptional assessments driven at CERN, home of the Colossal Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC is the world's largest and, for the most part, strongest atom smasher, found near Geneva, riding the line between Switzerland and France. There are advantaged mysteries about this exceptional organization that the world doesn't have some involvement in insider realities that could change how we view material science. In reality, the Universe CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Investigation, works this tremendous, predictable instrument. It reaches out more than 27 kilometers and sits significant underground. The purpose of the Gigantic Hadron Collider is to grant physicists the ability to test the examinations of various hypotheses in particle material science. This solidifies the high-profile assessment of the standard model of particle actual science, which assists us in sorting out the basic building blocks of the universe. At its center, the Goliath Hadron Collider works by accelerating protons to essentially the speed of light before beating them together. These effects produce a shower of new particles, which study to acquire insights into the regulations of nature. It was through such starters that the Higgs boson, frequently referred to as the God particle, was viewed as in 2012. This openness attested to how particles get mass and was a gigantic moment in atomic material science. The tests driven at the Huge Hadron Collider are essential for sorting out characteristics that occur under ludicrous conditions, essentially indistinguishable from those not long after the Big Bang. The data totaled can fill us in more about how the universe started, progressed, and about the critical constituents of matter. This makes the immense Hadron Collider a player in potentially uncovering new pieces of reality, including dark matter and the fundamental forces of nature. Such high-level experimentation at CERN doesn't come without concerns. Some hypothesize about high-energy tests making dark openings or exotic matter that could present threats to Earth. However, CERN ensures that all safety measures are met, and trained experts closely monitor these investigations and studies. Theoretical models authenticate that any hazardous circumstances are incredibly unlikely. Through its consistent assessment and disclosures, CERN helps us to sort out the universe better and demonstrates the astonishing capacity of human progression and joint effort in pursuing data. The LHC is humankind's ongoing supernatural occurrence. The amazing Hadron Collider at CERN isn't just an unfathomable piece of technology. It is a miracle of modern science and engineering, facilitated under the Swiss-French border. The tremendous collider goes through a tunnel 27 kilometers in width and is basically just about as significant as 175 meters underground. This makes it the greatest molecule collider in the world and one of the principal instruments in the field of molecule material science. The progression of the enormous Hadron Collider is designed to manage examinations of significant scale. The head ring of the collider, housed in a tunnel with a breadth of 3.8 meters, contains two connecting equal beam pipes. Each line orchestrates protons in the reverse direction, rapidly advancing them with a series of superconducting magnets. These magnets are essential for staying aware of the method of the protons, bending their course at speeds close to that of light. Incorporating the beam pipes are layers of cooling structures that keep a temperature colder than space, required to keep the superconducting magnets at their planned working temperature. The size of the immense Hadron Collider is moreover emphasized by its usage of great many magnets, including 1,232 dipole magnets to curve the beams and 392 quadrupole magnets to concentrate them. The greatest and most powerful superconducting magnets used are 15 meters long and weigh 35 tons each showing the monstrous real scale and inventive ambition behind the collider. 
the fundamental control of the Giant Hadron Collider is to investigate the stray pieces of the universe by seeing the most diminutive bits of matter, by accelerating particles to basically the speed of light and subsequently affecting them. The Gigantic Hadron Collider allows physicists to focus on the ensuing particles that are made during these effects. This cycle helps in testing and growing our understanding of the standard model of particle actual science, which is the ongoing best description of the subatomic world. One of the vital objectives behind the enormous Hadron Collider's tests is to reveal the insider realities of the Higgs boson. Its discovery at CERN in 2012 verified speculation about how particles acquire mass. The enormous Hadron Collider also investigates other fundamental particles and forces, attempting to address principal questions like the presence of dark matter and the nature of the universe just after the Big Bang. The Colossal Hadron Collider wants to confirm the presence of new particles that speculative physics predicts but has not yet observed. These assessments are key for potentially finding new physics beyond the standard model, including supersymmetry and viewpoints beyond the conventional three-dimensional perspectives. The vision behind the Epic Hadron Collider isn't simply to sort out the universe's plan but also to support global joint effort, with immense numbers of experts from more than 100 nations participating. The monstrous Hadron Collider is confirmation of overall cooperation in the venture for information. Its design and scale enable it to handle the most serious requests in material science. Its purpose extends beyond clear logical interest, hoping to foster how we unravel the universe and encourage worldwide cooperation in science. Through this colossal and complex apparatus, humankind continues to expand the limits of what is known and experience into the quantum area. But how does the Colossal Hadron Collider genuinely work? At the center of CERN's research facilities, the huge Hadron Collider serves as a solid enhancing point of convergence into the quantum space, allowing specialists to see and study the essential particles that make up everything in the universe. The process of particle speed increase and crash at the immense Hadron Collider is a critical procedure for testing the underpinnings of material science. Inside the collider, two high-energy atom beams travel at practically the speed of light before they are made to collide. These beams travel inside tubes kept at ultra-high vacuum, mimicking the conditions of space. Superconducting electromagnets, chilled to temperatures colder than space, help steer and concentrate the beams at allotted impact centers along the entry. These beams exert tremendous energy as they collide with particles, producing an assortment of subatomic particles some of which are staggeringly unstable and exist for just fractions of a second. To recognize and analyze the consequences of these effects, the Huge Hadron Collider is equipped with tremendous detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALIS, and LHCB. Each detector is designed for specific types of examination. These detectors capture data about the particles, including their mass, charge, and energy. This information helps physicists test assumptions for particle physics theories, including the standard model, and investigate particles and forces that govern the universe. One of the fundamental revelations at the Colossal Hadron Collider was the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. This particle, sometimes referred to as the God particle, is crucial because it provides evidence for the Higgs field, which is responsible for giving mass to fundamental particles. The presence of the Higgs boson was predicted by the standard model, and its discovery was an extraordinary achievement affirming long-held speculative predictions. Beyond the Higgs boson, the Gigantic Hadron Collider has also been instrumental in tracking down a range of other particles. For example, the collider has provided evidence for the existence of pentquarks and confirmed the presence of tetraquarks, particles made up of four and five quarks, respectively. These discoveries broaden our understanding of hadronic matter, which is matter made of quarks bound together by the strong force the force that holds atomic nuclei intact. These discoveries showcase the present power of the standard model and open new avenues of investigation in particle physics, offering insights into the behavior of matter under extreme conditions, like those soon after the Big Bang. Theoretical risks, such as strangelets or smaller-than-expected black holes, have been subjects of public interest and constant assessment. Strangelets are a hypothetical type of matter that is more stable than ordinary matter. The theory suggests that strangelets could convert any matter they come into contact with into strange matter. The fear surrounding the speculation is that if strangelets were created during particle collisions at the LHC, they could potentially convert the Earth's matter into strange matter. 
However, extensive assessments and security studies conducted by CERN and the global scientific community have addressed these concerns. Studies have shown that even if strangelets did exist and were produced at the LHC, they would most likely be extremely unstable and decay too quickly to cause any impact on Earth's matter. Additionally, high-energy cosmic rays, high-energy particles from space, constantly hit Earth with energy levels much higher than those produced by the Large Hadron Collider without causing any strangelets. This natural assessment suggests that strangelets are not a viable risk. The concern that the gigantic Hadron Collider could make small black holes comes from speculation about extra dimensions in physics. Some theoretical models suggest that high-energy collisions inside the LHC could create small black holes that would evaporate instantly due to a process called Hawking. Radiation, named after physicist Stephen Hawking. However, specialists agree that if small black holes were ever created at the LHC, they would pose no danger. First, any such black holes would be incredibly small and short-lived, dissipating before they could interact with surrounding matter. Second, the energies associated with LHC collisions, while enormous by human standards, are still far lower than the immense cosmic ray. Collisions that occur naturally in space. Since no dangerous small-scale black holes have been observed from cosmic ray interactions, it is extremely unlikely that the LHC would create any dangerous outcomes. CERN, along with independent boards, conducts careful security reviews to ensure that the experiments conducted at the LHC pose no risk to humanity or the planet. These studies incorporate theoretical assessments, test data, and safety models to address any potential hazards. While the LHC's tests continue to push the boundaries of how we interpret material science, they are conducted with a high degree of commitment and scientific oversight. This ensures that humanity can benefit from groundbreaking discoveries without facing unnecessary risks. Theoretical gambles often sound more like sci-fi than potential scientific outcomes, but the proper understanding, based on wide assessment and natural cosmic events, is that the experiments at the Large Hadron Collider are safeguarded and the potential risks are minimal. One of the most intriguing and exceptional tests proposed at CERN is the search for magnetic monopoles. A magnetic monopole is a hypothetical particle that is a magnet with only one magnetic pole, either a north pole or a south pole. In contrast, regular magnets typically have both north and south poles. The presence of magnetic monopoles was predicted by physicist Paul Dirac in 1931, who showed that their existence could explain why electric charge is quantized, meaning it comes in discrete quantities. Despite their theoretical significance, magnetic monopoles have never been observed at the Large Hadron Collider. Experts have been searching for evidence of these elusive particles. If magnetic monopoles were ever detected, they would revolutionize our understanding of magnetic fields and could lead to significant advancements in technology, including the development of new energy storage and transmission methods. Beyond the discovery of magnetic monopoles, finding them would provide experimental evidence for grand unified theories and string theories, which attempt to reconcile all the fundamental forces of nature within a single framework. While the search for magnetic monopoles may seem challenging, it represents the essence of scientific inquiry and curiosity that drives legitimate research at CERN. The pursuit of such fascinating and potentially revolutionary particles reflects the institution's commitment to exploring the unknown and pushing the limits of human knowledge. Another extraordinary investigation at the Large Hadron Collider involves studying the possible presence of particles that could travel faster than the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit in the universe. However, some speculative models suggest that particles called tachyons could exist, which would always move faster than light. Detecting tachyons would fundamentally challenge our understanding of space-time and causality. While most physicists remain skeptical about the existence of tachyons, the search for such particles at the Large Hadron Collider demonstrates the institution's willingness to explore even the most speculative corners of theoretical physics. The immense Hadron Collider also enables scientists to conduct experiments that replicate the conditions of the early universe, just moments after the Big Bang. These high-energy collisions create a state of matter known as quark-gluon plasma, which existed only minutes after the Big Bang. By focusing on this plasma, physicists hope to better understand how the universe evolved from its initial high-energy state into the complex and organized universe we observe today. In summary, these diverse experiments at CERN, 
from searching for magnetic monopoles to creating quark-gluon plasma, highlight the breadth and ambition of the scientific research conducted at the Large Hadron Collider. They demonstrate how CERN is pushing the boundaries of what we know about the universe and exploring new areas of physics that were once thought to be purely speculative. The primary goal of the Colossal Hadron Collider is to expand the frontiers of human knowledge, uncovering the hidden insights of the universe by smashing particles at extraordinary energies. It allows scientists to explore the fundamental nature of matter and the forces governing the universe. This extraordinary quest for understanding reflects humanity's inherent curiosity and drive to explore the unknown. The discoveries made at the Large Hadron Collider have broad implications for our understanding of the universe. By testing the tiniest building blocks of matter and the fundamental forces at play, these experiments advance our understanding of the universe's origins, evolution, and ultimate fate. They offer glimpses into the true nature of reality and help address the most profound questions about existence. In addition to the scientific advancements, the technological innovations and practical breakthroughs emerging from Large Hadron Collider research have real-world applications. Advances in particle detectors, computing technologies, and data analysis methods have contributed to progress in fields such as medicine, material science, and information technology. The immense Hadron Collider also fosters global collaboration, inspiring a new generation of scientists and researchers around the world to work together, share knowledge, and build expertise. Scientists are unlocking the universe's insider secrets through this global effort, showcasing the power of science to transcend boundaries and unite people in the pursuit of knowledge. The Large Hadron Collider is a cornerstone of modern material science, enabling groundbreaking discoveries and expanding the boundaries of what we know about the universe. Its experiments reveal the nature of fundamental particles, forces, and the origins of matter, offering profound insights into the insider secrets of existence. Through its technological advancements and worldwide collaborations, the Large Hadron Collider embodies the spirit of scientific inquiry and the vast potential of human curiosity. As we continue to explore the universe through the Large Hadron Collider, we move closer to answering the most fundamental questions about our universe and our place within it.